Costa? Yes, sir. <sighs> okay, Susie, what have we got? Yeah, something interesting. Yeah? Three men in a grey van tooled up with baseball bats. They appear just at the moment the manager opens up to take delivery, and I mean at that very moment. They lock the driver and the manager inside and rob the lorry. Ring any bells? Last Wade Street two weeks ago. Mm. And it was another computer store, wasn't it? Yeah. Thanks, Sarah. The MO is almost identical. Even the description. They wore masks at Last Wade Street, didn't they? Yeah, here too. But the bloke leading the robbery sounds the same. Heavily built, black and red leather jacket. Really? Mm. The only difference is, this time the lorry driver didn't hand over the keys like a good boy. So he took a beating. He's in hospital now. So there is a connection. But is the DSC going to back us up? Yeah, it was the DSC who clinched it. She says she's examined the lorry before. Same one as Laswade Street. What, you mean it belongs to Mick O'Leary? I do indeed. Have you got anything? No. Well, don't worry, there's more to it than this. I've just done a PNC check on O'Leary. He's got form. Nice one. Two previous convictions for handling stolen goods five years ago. And now he runs his own delivery firm. Mm. Perfect for a setup, wouldn't you say? A bit obvious. Get a hold of Terry Jackson, Julie, will you? I want that invoice paid today. Mr. O'Leary. Ah, oh, Sergeant Bolt, don't tell me. You found me gear. I'm afraid not. You mean you haven't heard? What? I've only just got in. This morning, three men stole the contents of a delivery lorry, which was parked outside the discount computer shop in Cheswick Street. And it was the same lorry that was robbed outside of Lasswaite Street two weeks ago. Your lorry. Oh, one of mine. Yeah, registration L407GUC. Did you have a delivery plan for Cheswick Street? I don't know. I think so. Julie, give us today's schedule, would you, pet? Was it the same lad as before? Why do you ask? It was, wasn't it? We believe it was the same gang who were responsible for the theft at Last Wade Street. Oh, look. A full load, too. I don't suppose, uh... No, nothing was left. Great. They knew, didn't they? Just like before, they knew. Your driver tried to stop them. Jim? Yeah. He was assaulted with a baseball bat. He's been taken to St. Hughes. <sighs> right. Well, I better get down there. We'd like to ask you some questions first. What about? Well, this is the second time you've had a theft now, Mr. O'Leary. And on both occasions, the gang knew where to go and at what time. <sighs> what exactly are you saying? You see, I think the gang must have had access to information that would enable them to plan those thefts. You think I set them up? Isn't that what you mean? Well, you said yourself they must have known. And you'd know the right people to speak to. Ah, oh, yeah. Here it comes. What, well, Mr O'Leary? You're going to start on about my previous, aren't you? Well, all that's finished. Well, you do have a record for handling stolen goods. <sighs> yeah. And I did time for it. Look. I'm gone straight now, but all of this makes me think it was easy when I was on the other side. Oh, really? No. I don't mean that. Look, I had nothing to do with any of those thefts, right? Check my books if you like. Ask any of the other firms around here. I keep my head down and I pay me bills. Right. If he's so keen on us getting a character reference, let's get one, shall we? Security will know about his movements when he visits us. Excuse me, I'm Detective Sergeant Bolton. This is WDC Croft from Sun Hill. Ray? Ray Kingsley? Yeah, not out here, inside. What happened? Are you out of a job? I can explain. Do you know him, Sergeant? Yeah, it's my old sergeant from Barton Street. John? Yeah, yeah. Oh, so, the cat's out of the bag now, isn't it? I'm just, uh, well, you know, seeing you like this is... Yeah, yeah, I know. It's not exactly Barton Street CID, is it? Hey? No. 
But the fact is that I was going stir crazy. I was getting under Marion's feet. She didn't know what to do with me. Then I'd go out for a jog, try to take my mind off things and find myself running past the station or down an old beat. You know, to be reminded everywhere. God, that can't have been easy. No. It's much better like this. Keep him busy, believe me. Please. Hey, anyone fancy a coffee? Hmm? I've only got the one mug we'll have to share. Uh, I'm Susie. Susie Croft, yeah. And you know who I am, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. You've heard all about my situation. No need to spare me blushes. We always knew the gossip from Sun Hill. No coffee for me, thanks. John? Yeah, yeah, thanks, Sarge. You're looking well. Still jog yourself? Um, now and again, you know. It's a good time to think. It's the best time, John. Didn't I tell you that? The best. So, uh, when's the discipline board? <sighs> a couple of weeks. I'm not allowed to have any contact with anyone from the station, not even all mates. Don't worry, you'll be back in your job before you know it. Oh, I'm confident. You see, I know why the female officer made the allegation. Oh, yeah? Some of the women at the station were using equal ops to get at me, because they... Well, I never tried to be popular. Well, it's true, isn't it, John? I never suffered fools. Everyone knew you were a sergeant they could rely on. Hmm. <laughs> Much good it's done me. A couple of weeks, Ray, then you can put all this behind you. Mm. Get out of this Mickey Mouse outfit. Yeah. Did you hear anything about that robbery at Last Wade Street? Yeah, I heard something about it. Oh, Leary's lorry. That's right, it's just that there's been another one this morning at Cheswick Street and it's the same M.O., so we think it's an inside job. Who do you suspect? Well, at the moment we're working on O'Leary because he's got previous. Do you know, I thought I recognised that face. It was Fence, wasn't it? Yeah, that's right. There you go. I haven't lost my touch. So have you seen anything dodgy going on round here? Me, John? No, I'll keep my head down while I'm here. OK. Sometimes, when he's out, I'll go over and have a coffee with Julie. That's his secretary? Yeah, usually when the bookies are open and she's left holding the fort. What, so he likes a flutter, or is it more serious than that? <laughs> uh, OK, John. For you, I'll see what I can find out. Was he really as unpopular as I say? He was a hard man to please. But a good sergeant? Oh, yeah, he was good to me. Was he on the level? Yeah, yeah, he's a family man. He's got lovely kids, car washed every Sunday morning. No, um, I meant the allegation. Oh, no. Ray's tough, but he's fair. He's the last person on earth to do something like that. John, Susie, how are you getting on with those two thefts? I think we've got a lead on O'Leary, sir. The victim? Yeah, it looks like it's an inside job. And I've got a source of the business park who might pick up some more. Who's the source? He's a security guard. He works for Bissett Security. Yeah, I know the firm. Yeah, I'm hoping he might help us some more. I think he might agree to put O'Leary under observation. Well, if he's going to cooperate, let's take advantage of it. Keep up the pressure. Right. I'll keep you informed. Good. Sarge. I'll explain. Shouldn't you have told him about Kingsley? No. Why? Because then the DI might have felt he had to tell Barton Street. Well, isn't that his decision? Not while we've got such a good opportunity. We've effectively got a copper who's on site and undercover. Yeah, a copper who's been suspended and who didn't seem that keen anyway. Anyone's going to see this as resourceful police work. Ray will, so we'll just keep at him. You'll have to be quick. Actually, we just wanted a quick update. See what you charmed out of Julie. Oh, what makes you think I'd even spoken to her? Oh, come on, Ray. OK, OK. It seems our friend O'Leary does have a serious gambling problem. He's in debt? Yeah. Julie says he's been getting heavy phone calls, threatening ones. You draw your own conclusions. All patrol units from base. Well, I'll have to go. Actually, Ray, I was thinking of calling in that favour. Oh, yeah. What we really need to do is put O'Leary under observation. If he has got any involvement with these robberies, he might try and get in touch with the gang. Hey, cracking idea. Thanks. But not me. Ray? I've done a bit of digging for you. Let's leave it at that. I'm a security guard now. No, you're not. You're still a policeman. Look, if I've let you down, I'm sorry. 
but I've got enough on my plate at the moment. No more, okay. Correct me if I'm wrong, but moonlighting is a sackable offence, isn't it? Period. The discipline board's just a formality. Are you leaning on me? No. But the longer this goes on, the more attention this place is going to attract. And someone else could recognise you. All patrol units from base. Careful, John. You could get yourself into trouble too, knowing about me but not reporting it. I'll handle that. I've got no choice, then. No. It's just business, Ray, that's all. You told me that, remember? Excuse me. Hey, he hasn't changed, has he? Still in too much of a hurry. Get used to him. <laughs> Do you? No, I never did. I knew it made him careless. I found a van. Matches the description of the getaway vehicle. Yeah. Looks like they transferred the gear. Thanks. Well, this looks like our van. Did you find anything, Tony? Nah, this was a load of rubbish in the cab, vessel. Right, thanks. Yeah. Okay, got some sweetie papers. Paper, parking tickets. Let's check something. This parking ticket's for a different vehicle. Sierra Oscar from DS Bolton. Go ahead, Sarge. I'd like a vehicle check, please. Registration number Charlie 77 Juliet Foxtrot X ray. Do you think it's going to be a Jag? Well, we might get lucky. Sarge? Yeah, go ahead. A Jaguar. No trace lost or stolen. The car's registered to a Mr. M. O'Leary. Thanks a lot, then. Are we going to bring O'Leary in? Not yet. If we arrest him now, we'll have to get a confession. I reckon we could do better than that. I don't think you can rely on Kingsley, Sarge. Why not? All right, he was a bit reluctant just now, but wait till he sniffs the results. He'll react like any one of us. Bolton, could you just give us a minute? I'm going to take this outside. That is brilliant. Yeah, thanks. Susie, something's come up. That was Ray. O'Leary's had a visit from a heavy who threatened to take his jag. Ray thinks it's to do with the gambling. How does he know? Julie told him. After the heavy left, O'Leary made a call, and then he took off to meet someone at the car park at Edgington Street. She told him all that? I know, he's got her eaten out the palm of his hand, hasn't he? So now we just sit here? Actually, I thought you could do a bit of shopping. <laughs> but it would help if we knew what we were expecting. Susie. It matches the description from both incidents. Yeah. What now? Let's just hang fire, see what happens. Here we go. Yeah, he went left. Oh, sorry. Yeah, left. Oh. Damn it. There they are. They've been blocked. Well, they've seen us now. Come on. long-term car park. It's a Jaguar Beige XJ6. The registration is Charlie 77 Foxtrot Juliet X-Ray. This is a dead end. We've got him.
You lost your main suspect? Yeah, but I'm not worried. We'll get what we need from O'Leary. Good. And your source at the business park? Gov. The security guard. You never gave me his name. Yeah, he's been very useful. He's given us a lot of information. OK. And is that everything that you know? And you can back it up, yeah? Oh, look, I've got to go. It's my DS. Susie. Will do. Bye. Sarge. Let's go and talk to O'Leary. Can you tell us who you were going to meet at the car park at Edgington Street? He wouldn't tell me his real name. Said he knew about the thefts. He could get me gear back, but it was going to cost me. So, we had to meet. Why didn't you contact us immediately? <laughs> Sorry, fella. You had naff all so far, and I wanted my gear back. A good businessman has to take the initiative sometimes. Know what I mean? For the benefit of the tape, I'm showing the suspect exhibit JB1, which is a parking ticket. Do you recognise this registration? Yeah, it's to my car. But I don't remember getting this. We discovered this under the front seat of a grey van, which we believe was used on both the thefts on your lorry. Do you know how it got there? I don't believe this. Answer the question, Mr O'Leary. No, I don't. Do you have gambling debts? Who told you that? A reliable source. Having bad debts is no crime. What did you plan to do with the gear, Mr O'Leary? Sell it on or just claim on the insurance? No! Look, can't you see I'm being fitted up here? Framed. Ever thought that might be just a possibility, hmm? Or is that too much to ask of a lazy copper like you? You know, I said I wasn't happy. Oh, I thought we dealt with all that. Yeah, well, I was still uneasy about Kingsley. So, um, I called someone I know at Barton Street. You did what? She was a mate at Hendon. You went behind my back? Well, you wouldn't listen to me, Sarge. So that makes it OK, does it? It's no worse than not telling the DI about Kingsley, is it? Anyway, the point is what she told me. She said the odds are against Kingsley. Oh, yeah. How does she know that? Because there were witnesses to the indecent assault on the WPC. It was just some bra burner who was out to get him racing. No, these were male. Even the lads aren't closing rank. I don't believe it. Ray's got the perfect marriage. Well, maybe he did have when you knew him, Sarge. But apparently, his wife didn't want a sergeant for a husband. She wanted a chief inspector, and she spent money as though he was one. He was in debt? Yeah. The word is that you were selling information to his snout. Some lowlife called Billy West. No, no, Susie, you don't know, Ray. Sarge, we've got to consider him a suspect. He would have known the times and dates of the deliveries. He offered to help us. He fingered O'Leary, but as soon as you bit, he backed off, remember? Oh, come on, Sarge, be honest with yourself. It would have been easy for Kingsley to set those jobs up, wouldn't it? It's him. Billy West, our bloke from the car park. That's one up to you, Susie. Ray! John. Oh. Come on. Mm. Get up. Whoa. All right. What happened? <laughs> oh, I'll tell you later. Wasn't Billy West by any chance, was it, your old snout? Do you remember? Ray, do you recognise him? Hmm? Oh, I don't know anyone called Billy West. <laughs> don't bother lying to me anymore, Ray. We've already ID'd West with O'Leary, and he's a match for one of the gang members. Ray! Ah. Sarge. All right, we'll get him to St Hugh's Hospital. But not until he's told us where Billy West is. Come on, Ray! West has a house on Monia 
straight. Oh, number 22. Right. Phone Sunhill, then get an ambulance. You know what's going to happen now? Yeah. And I'll cooperate. I'll do whatever you want. Whoa. Remember, John? I tried to warn you off, didn't I? You made me spy on O'Leary. He'd already framed him. Uh, I had to buy some time to get rid of the gear. But you really thought it all through, didn't you? Gambling debts, parking tickets in the van. That was a really nice touch, by the way. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't too easy. I had to think about that. Uh -huh. Yeah, but it wasn't enough for you, was it? Uh, you had to push it. Can't blame you. Hey, wouldn't have been enough for me. Don't. Compare us. You should have nicked Billy at the car park. But you were too slow. You set him up as well. I uh, uh, was sick of him and his thugs beating up that driver. He wasn't in the plan. Was assaulting a woman police officer part of your plan, Ray? You should have gone for a run. You should have gone for a think, because you're going to lose everything now. Your job, your pension, everything. You, you are probably going to end up inside. Right, let's go. Hi. Hey, well done, you two. Yeah, nice one. We're there for a drink. Coming? John, Susie, in here. Uniform nicked Billy West and the rest of the gang as they were moving the gear from the thefts. I heard. Well done. I've heard a phone call from Barton Street about DS Ray Kingsley. Why wasn't I told? Well? That was my decision, sir. Susie objected to it at the time, so this has got nothing to do with her. Susie? I did say something. You can go, then. Susie, so, you coming? Oh, yeah. And I think we'd better get one in for DS Bolton as well. He's going to need it. <laughs> 